Hey, welcome back. Three topics today. Number one, why won't this engine make chugging sounds? Number two, old gauge railroad reviews. And number three, the best one of all is the dark room tour in the train room. Hey, welcome back to the man cave. And tonight we're having a little bit of chaos going on here with one of the engines. I've taken it apart and I think there's a problem with the soundboard because I interchanged the uh, tender and the engine works but I put on the this tender back on and everything works but I'm not getting the chugging sound. So it must be a problem with one of the boards. Well, what I got going on here, I bought this cradle to hold the uh, engines during repairs. It's basically you know, plywood with a bunch of foam in it. So I put the tender back in here to reassemble this. And then take the electronics part and put it back into the tender. Get the screwdriver out and it's held in place with uh, four screws. So let's work this back in there. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting the screws tight. And basically there's four of these and we'll get these back into place and we'll be set to uh, be back in business again. See that the chugging's not correct. We're not getting the complete chug. Give it a whistle. Hang in there, rail fans. The best parts yet to come. Old gauge railroading review, and the best thing of all will be the dark room tour in the train room. All right, welcome to Man Cave Tour number four. Tonight we have three chapters. Number one, what's wrong with my train? It won't run. Number two, a quick review of this month's uh, old gauge railroading. The last part of the tour will be a dark room tour of the man cave dark room where I do my photography in black and white for uh, train work. Right, tonight the second phase after uh, what's wrong on my train is a quick look at this month's June July 2012 run 257 of old gauge railroading. The first article I recommend you take a look at is Friends Build a Layout Articles and photos by Dave Minaret. This next article is by Tom Snyder. It's called Tin Plate Legacy. He's an old late night TV star from uh, CBS Television. So take a look at this article uh, Tom Snyder's Layout. This one's called Destination Pettyville. Articles by Greg Ryman and photos by Jim Dorsey. Alright, first chapter tonight was why, why my train won't work. The second one was a quick review of three articles that think you should read out of old gauge railroading. And the last part of our tonight's tour will be of the Man Cave Dark Room. I have a complete dark room set up here where I do all my own photography. Alright, welcome to uh, part three of tonight's show on black and white photography done on my dark room. Above my desk here you'll see some photographs that were actually shot by myself and developed and printed in my man cave dark room.
into a man cave dark room where we do our own developing negatives and making black and white prints. All right, this is the uh, 23C best and larger. Basically, the negative is in, placed into a negative carrier, and we close this thing down, lock the negative into place, and it shines down to an easel that holds a photo photographic paper. Of course, this is done under what's called red conditions. All right, this is what's called a developing tank, and in here, there's a reel. The film was removed from the cassette and it's put onto this reel in total darkness. That means there's no red lights on. And it's sealed in total darkness. The lights then come on. Then we run through D76, stop bath, fixer, wash, rinse cycle, and photo flow to get all the water spots off. These tanks come in plastic and also in stainless steel. All right, what we got here is this is the printing and developing area. This first tray is the Dectol, and it's sold by Kodak in a powder form. This is Kodak Dectol. Other companies also manufacture it. And uh, it has to be D76. And so this is the Dectol. Then we have, after Dectol comes this indicator stop bath. I like using this tub down here. Squish them off good and put them into the fixer. There's fixer for paper and also fixer for film. Right, there's no way I can show you guys how to do everything I did to make those pictures on the other room. The dark room is a very complicated process and there's no way you could do it justice in a YouTube video. But there are people on YouTube that have tried to show the steps involved in making the negatives and making the prints. The search words you want to use in YouTube would be developing black and white film. Once again, it's developing black and white film. And the next one you want to use is developing black and white prints. Developing black and white prints. And also take a look at your local community college. They may have night classes in black and white photography. Their local high school may sponsor black and white photography through their night school programs. A book that I recommend is by Barbara London and John Upton called Photography, the sixth edition. I believe now they're on their eighth edition, but I'm not quite sure about that. But it's kind of the backbone and basics of black and white photography. Okay, on 105 in this book, chapter 6, Developing the Negative, you know, they walk you through it step by step in all the procedures to do developing. I showed you the, those tanks earlier, there's all the safety procedures. And here's the cassette, here's the film being loaded, here it's being put onto the reels. Here's the chemicals being placed into the tank. And I walk you through it step by step on how to do the negatives. All right, this is chapter seven. This is uh, making the prints and the same thing. This walks you through it step by step. There's your larger, the trays are developing, explains how the larger works. So for a guy, you know, wants to go out on their own and learn everything, by reading these chapters, they'll walk you through it. There, there's the negative being put into the carrier, the actual operation of the enlarger. Here's the steps I just showed you about the developing trays, what goes on with the trays, different developing charts and times, and then the final product. Gary on our Man Cave Tour number four saying thanks for visiting.